yo 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 fish well sickly tier man so we're just back at you with another video today so today's video some people have been waiting for um and you know people that have been watching my channel will know that i had a filter situation um it was my external filter my external filter decided to leak so you know i had a midi flood so i know what it's like for people out there do you know what i mean that's that has them floods um i've had many problems with floods um and you know i was fed up with external filters so basically you know i decided to build my own filter which was an internal filter because externals you know always have the chance to leak so i've been some people have been waiting quite a while do you know what i mean it's been say um about coming on three weeks um as i mentioned you know i'm, I'm one of them I, I will get stuff done but you know i won't get it done on the spot do you know what i mean like a few people might you know um but there's still anyways you know i'll get it done um, and it's done, uh, it's doing the job, um, the tank looks pretty clean, um, you know I've had it in there for a couple of days, you know, checking it out, experimenting it, you know, making sure it's up to date um, and then, you know, I've got completed product which, you know, is good for me. So this video is going to be, obviously because, you know, it's going through a lot of stuff and showing you a lot of stuff, um, the video is going to be a five part video, so, you know, if you just hang in there and you know we'll go through the videos and the steps you know one by one um nah just messing with you, you know i'm saying a five part video <laughs> you know what i mean you know that's all out there you know what i mean no so i'm gonna bang all this video in this video do you know what i'm saying i'm gonna explain um you know what i did and how how i did it do you know what i'm saying so there's one thing I wanted to clear up um, in, in a few videos, previous videos, um, you know, slip of the tongue on a few things that I said. I noticed when, you know, the video was over, I'd recorded it, you know, I'm not going to re-record the whole thing over one tiny slip up, do you know what I'm saying? So, um, that situation is, as I mentioned, um, I live in a four bedroom, uh, two story house, um, which I told you, which is not the slip of the tongue, I do live in a four four bedroom two story house um with you know with a basement as well um and when i was uh, mentioning um my situation with my floorboards if people that had watched my videos do you know what i mean um the situation with my floorboards was um you know because they could uh, you know they could get damp uh, and rot and then you know my tank could eventually fall through if i kept you know getting water spillages so you know, people that kept up and watched the videos um, will realise that, you know, I was talking, I kept saying the first floor. So I kept saying the first floor is going to get damaged and the first floor, um, you know, I've got to take care of the first floor. I mean, I still got to take care of the first floor because I've got tanks on every level. But, um, you know, this tank itself, which I mentioned was on the first floor, it's, I was wrong, it's the ground floor. So we got ground, then we got first, and then we got second. So you know it's a three story, you know two stories. So you got ground, uh, um, you know that's still confusing to me because you got your basement, then you got uh, ground, and then you got first, and then you got second. So this is on the on the ground level. If I'm right again, yeah. So this is the ground level. So this is the ground level, and this is the level I have to be really careful of because we have got a basement downstairs. And the heaviest tanks are on this level so that's one mistake i made i kept saying first floor but it was actually the ground floor which i was talking about um i also made a slip up was uh, on one video i said um i had an internal polisher and i think i said it was 200,000 liters per hour um what uh, 21,000 liters per hour i think i said it was um it's actually 2100 so um so that that internal uh power head which i'm using is 2100 liters power 
you know what I'm saying? So that's just to clear them two things up, which was a slip of a tongue. I wasn't going to re re redo the video because of that, um, but I thought I'd just clear that up, do you know what I'm saying? So, you know, people know, you know, I know what I'm talking about, it's just a slip of the tongue. So, as for um, that situation, that's, you know, um, cleared up. Um, it's not a five part video, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, it's actually um, going to be this video, and that's number two cleared up. And, um, you know, fishes are doing fine. Uh, I came, you know, obviously I had the situation where I was um, using temporary filters, like I was using the Fluval and um, uh, the internal Fluval. I think I messed up on that. I think I called it a U4. Yeah, I think it was, a, I think that's called a uh, Fluval filter. I think it's Fluval Plus. I think that's what it's called. So that was the third thing that I got wrong as well when I was talking, you know, slip of the tongue, you know. So I, I think I, I said I, I was using the Fluval U4, but it's actually uh, Fluval Plus. So um, I was using that, um, you know, and obviously, you know, it, it was maintaining the tank, um, but, you know, not to the quality as, you know, I wanted it to. And then I had too many things in there, you know what I mean? That was just taking up too much internal space and not looking nice. So obviously changed up situation. Um, I've created um, something internally. Um, that's what's been people's been waiting for. People that um, know and have been waiting, obviously, you know, you've been waiting for this video to see what I've come up with. People, you know, I've got a lot of new subscribers. So, you know, for the new subscribers, if they don't know, do you know what I mean? You know, basically, um, you know, to run big tanks, you need to use external filters. Um, and I'm, that's one of the best ways, you know, to help maintain, you know, the um, water quality in a big tank. Um, so basically, you know, you need externals or a sump. So obviously, because I've been, I've been keeping fish for 20 years. So, and I've been moving about house and I've been using externals from day one. I only ever use new stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? So I never buy anything, you know, um, you might, yeah, I might buy, you know, odd, but mainly things like filters, tanks, lightings, stuff like that. Big main things, I will always buy brand new because I don't want to end up, you know, paying some money and um, paying petrol to go pick it up and then, you know, realizing coming home, you know, that, you know, it's half faulty. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'd rather just buy stuff like that brand new. So any externals I've ever bought, I've only bought them brand new. Um, and basically, um, every external is always at the risk, no matter whatever you use. You know what I'm saying? You know, you can use the best external, whatever. I've used Fluval. Do you know what I'm saying? Fluval externals. I've used Eheim externals. I've used resin externals, which is the one that's just gone now. Um, even though it's probably just the seal, you know, that's gone on it. Um, but that don't make no difference to me. Whether it be the seal or whether it be the you know, I don't know, piping or whatever, you know, that's gonna, go, that's the risk that's gonna go on me. Do you know what I'm saying? I have, you know, over the 20 years, um, I have, you know, spent so much money on new filters and then paying the damages which it, they have caused. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, um, I spent, you know, about seven, 800 pound, UK pounds on my um, ground floor carpet, um, had them put in and after a few disasters um, of with externals and uh, water spillage you know i had to rip them out because they eventually i mean you can try drying them up on, on stuff but you know what i mean you know they do start to smell you know what i mean because you 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 can try washing them but then you wash them and then they don't dry in time and you know uh, you know they don't really come out that well to be honest you know they end up smelling um leaving a damp smell within your house and um, it, that's even more of a problem for me because I got, so I basically, I explained in other videos before, I, as I mentioned, I got a lot of new subs. So, you know, I'm just talking with, you know, along them so they understand what we're doing. Um, so basically, yeah, I had carpet before. So my carpet was totally damaged. Um, it started to smell. So I had to, you know, take it out. Um, I had a wooden floor. Um, I had to spend another, a 1500 pound UK pound and um, get the floor sanded, um, varnished, waterproof, 
um, and you know it's, it's, it's been a big headache and this was all just due to the, the water spillage do you know what I'm saying so and this is the, the my property that I live here now um, and previous properties I've had the same problem when I was living at home with my moms you know what I'm saying I gave my moms a lot of problems um, you know she had a uh, wooden uh, you know what you get the laminate flooring put in um, I was living there and you know I always have my tanks as I always have and um, you know I created a lot of water spillages um, her laminate flooring got wet um, and started to expand and get damaged so I damaged her floor as well so over the space of 20 years I've used Eheim I've used and then eventually leaked I used Fluval eventually leaked I used resin eventually leaked I used what we have is the all pond solutions one here in the UK I think that you know resembles the Sun Sun in the in America so I've used that Sun Sun similar which we got the all pond solution one here you know what I'm saying it's the same they all eventually leak you know what I'm saying one day or another you know that that um, seal that that rubber seal you know that ring that rubber o-ring that goes round it will go one day do you know what i'm saying and when it does it's going to create so many damages and you know like i says it, it came to the point with me where i was you know putting life in danger where we've got basement underneath we've got ground floor uh, and basically you know if people are going underneath that ground floor if i get you know this floor wet the wood rots the tank's going to fall through you know that's a risk of falling onto somebody do you know what i'm saying i ain't taking that risk i love fish but i love my family even more do you know what i'm saying so you know it's just one of them things so i had to i got to the point now where i was just totally you know i just wanted to do away with an external i just didn't want that you know that hassle do you know what i'm saying i didn't want that situation where you know I can get more damages you know I've, I've already you know created so many um, and you know I'm not doing it again and again do you know what I mean I've got for this wooden floor now if this gets damaged after this it's not just money or the cost I can always do that I can always cover that it's it's a life risk and I can't cover that back do you know what I'm saying so I'm not taking that risk no more so I decided to go or do away with externals with sumps I just designed somewhat basic, you know what I'm saying? It's not, you know, rocket science. Um, just designed somewhat basic and um, to keep internally. Looks nice. Not going to take up so much space. And, you know, will do the job as well. Do you know what I'm saying? So I created a product. Um, I've given it a name. I've called it um, the Spider 3000. And you, you know, I'll explain why I've called it the Spider 3000. But it's called the Spider 3000 2019 because it was built in 2019. So it's called the Spider 3000 2019. So that's, that's, that's a name. So that's the model I'm going to be showing you. Um, I'm going to show it uh, and, you know what I'm saying, explain a bit about it. You know what I mean? So you people get a look at what I've been up to. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, you know, how I'm going to be maintaining my tank from now on. This big tank without an external and without some so just another situation update on the fishes for the people that know watch my tank you know seeing the fishes come in and out as i mentioned before um you know i i put over 70 fish in here at the beginning it's an experiment it's an experiment that's ongoing i've not completed it yet so basically you know i put 70 fish in here i was letting them grow out i took out the females um this is an all male tank so i took out the females and basically um you know just uh waiting for them to color up and stuff picking them out obviously i can't keep you know 50 plus fish in here 70 uh, you know whatever so you know i'm just gonna i've been taking a few out um as you have seen you probably see my other videos i've been putting them in with my front hoses letting them find new homes so basically you know that's one of the situations where i've been taking fish out keeping the ones i want when I get to the point where I can, you know, I want to keep at least three of each male. So three of each species. Well, three of each colour. It's because peacocks, OB peacocks, red shoulder peacocks, they're the same species. So I don't even know why they call hybrids. 
uh, <laughs> but anyway, um, but so, um, you know, that situation, I've obviously, I've been neglecting the town, not neglecting the town, but obviously it's not been up to scratch. So I've been noticing, yeah, yeah, the fish has been, been a bit edgy on a few days, um, when I've not given them the time, but you know, and I've, uh, so the changes are, I've taken a few fish out. The blue dolphins are fine. The peacocks I put in are fine. It's just that I came down one day and if people know, I, I added three albinos. So three albino peacocks. They were small, they were about two and a half inch, coming on three inch. Um, and basically I put three in at, when I did it at the beginning. And you know, I came down one day and there was just one. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? It, they're ghost, a ghost situation. I think I've mentioned these ghost stories before. You know, it's a ghost story. You know, no forensics, no nothing. Do you know what I'm saying? You know, the fish are ghost, gone. No, no body, nothing. Do you know what I'm saying? So basically, you know, that's my situation on that. So I lost two um, albino ones. Uh, I've got one in there. That's fine, doing fine. I've got two in my grow out ones. So basically, I will be moving them in here, so I've still I've got a replacement for them too. But um, <laughs> look, look, lucky, lucky me, I'm always keeping fish. So I've got a replacement for them too, and um, you know I'm going to enter them, but when they're a bit more bigger. Um, so you know I'm not taking that risk again in case I lose them again. So my blue dolphins that I added, I'm touch wood, they're fine. Um, and the peacocks, the other peacocks that I added, the smaller ones, they're fine. So. People might have noticed I haven't got the um, poly, uh, not polystigma, what are we talking about here? Um, I'm, the Hat VC10, which I rescued. The Hat VC10, yeah, I let that go on to a new home because the reason why is because that wasn't part of my plan. That wasn't part of my, um, do you know what I mean? Uh, I, I had a plan here going on here, do you know what I mean? My experiment. That wasn't part of my experiment. So I wanted, plus I'd kept them in the past and I'm not a fan of them. Had them, they like them. So basically, I had a group of them. Um, and so I let that fish go, which was the Hat BC10. Um, people might notice that a, um, the Zebra Oblicodon, which was a rescued fish as well. Um, that, that fish I've moved into the uh, other tank with the front hose up. And the reason why I moved that over there as well, because same again, once that picks up its health, gets its colour back in, um, you know, I'm just going to uh, let that go and find a new home. So, same again, reason, same reason, you know, what they're not part of my plan. Do you know what I'm saying? So if they're not my, part of my plan, they're not going to be in it. So, um, they're not part of my plan, so they're kicked out. So, but the only thing I, the only reason why I kept them, if people watch my previous video, is because I was saving their lives. Do you know what I'm saying? Once I get them to the point where they're healthy, they're well, they're doing fine, you know what I mean, they're bouncing about, you know, they can move on, do you know what I'm saying? At least they, they you know, survive death, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and I feel good about that, do you know what I'm saying? So, so that's the situation there um, with the fish updates. So, you know, enough of the talking and, well, probably a bit more talk, a bit more talking, you know what I mean, stay tuned. Because um, I'm going to take you through to the filter now and uh, explain to you what I've done, show you it, you know, show you the model. So the Spider to that Spider 3000 2019. Do you know what I'm saying? So stay tuned, bro. Sisters, all of you. Yo, 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 so here we have it. So, as I'm showing you now, this is the, um, it's a powerhead, 3,000 litres per hour, 45 watts. Um, it pumps out air from both, it's got two holes. So it pumps out air from two sides. This is the front and it's got the other side, which also has a, but I've covered the hole. I've added to it the spray bar from my external. So as you can see, I just took off the spray bar from the external, used a few bits of piping that I had lying around, 
obviously you know as a fish keeper you have all piping lying around so on top of that I use the milkshaker bottle so a large milkshaker bottle and inside that yeah as you can see I added all the media you know bio balls ceramics so this piping is same again it's from my um, external I did a few a joint here so it comes down from the top to the bottom and then I connected a spray bar at the bottom so we've got holes at the bottom of that and then the connector this was from the external as well and obviously this is where the normally the dead spot is in my tank so I've made a um, sort of you know like a, a loop thing to go around the dead spot so basically here it is it's the the model spider spider three three thousand so here you go you know what I'm saying so bang it's the spider 3000 and the reason why I call it spider because it's got a body and it's got legs to it sort of thing in it do you know what I mean so that's why I called it the spider the spider 3000 2019 do you know what I'm saying so it's also got um, a speed controller so as you can see there it's got a speed controller to it so I can control the speed on it it's 3000 liters per hour so you know if it's too fast slow it down whatever it's got the air hole so you can connect the air tube to it to get extra more filtration and you know here it is man the, the finished product what everybody's been waiting for <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's, it's pretty simple you know what I'm saying you know it's, it's not nothing special you know what I'm saying but it does the job you know it and that's what I needed I needed some internal that's going to do the job you know what I'm saying yo 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 fish well sickly here man so basically you've seen that now do you know what I'm saying so this is my situation there it is running nice and smooth do you know what I'm saying doing what I want it to do do you know what I'm saying so that's it do you know what I'm saying so it's pretty pretty simple you know what I mean simple stuff you've probably seen stuff like this all over YouTube do you know what I'm saying but you know this has just got a little bit of a twist to it you know what I mean it's a bit more solid than the flimsy ones uh, people are making on YouTube do you know what I'm saying you know and um, it's, a lot, it's a lot more solid looks a, you know, more pleasing to the eye as you can see it there do you know what I'm saying it's not taking up X amount of space um, I'm never gonna be ever ever in a situation where you know what I'm saying I'm having a spillage you know what I'm saying so the only spillage I'm gonna be making now is anyone I make you know what I mean from you know dipping my hands in the tank and working with the tank do you know what I'm saying no more spillages from now on do you get what I'm saying so no external spillages anything that happens you know internally that's a different thing but I'm I'm, I'm like 90% less risk you know what I'm saying damaging the floor so I'm a happy man do you know what I'm saying it does the job it's running 3000 liters per hour I use a polisher now and again and you know what I'm saying job done do you get what I'm saying so you know that is keep watching keep liking keep subscribing till next time one love peace out